Well, howdy, folks. Welcome to today's episode. Today we start off in El Dorado, Oklahoma. And it looks to be somewhat of a ghost town. There's a few people here, but it looks like not much is going on. Just look over here. There's an old uh, drive-in. Old Pepsi sign, Panther. Family restaurant, looks to be closed. In a quarter mile, slide left onto Oklahoma 6 North. Why is this lady talking to me? I don't have it in. There's an old, uh, something over there, old elephants or something, man, woolly mammoths. But yeah, this is the town here of, what's this, El Dorado? El Dorado. It looks to be pretty much defunct. There's an old Chevrolet dealership. That's kind of cool. There's a store open over here, it looks like. Some sort. Some sort. There's a Dr. Pepper machine just sitting off by its lonesome. But yeah, almost uh, almost abandoned town. Looks like there's still a few things surviving. All right, let's get on down the road. I believe. Yes. Through the Wichita Mountains. We're heading towards the Wichita Mountains. We'll check them out when we get there. So I did see quite a few old, uh, you know, faded out signs depicting woolly mammoths. So I'm guessing, I thought it is, there's probably some woolly mammoth uh, remains found, you know, somewhere in excavation here. I had to guess. If you're from this area and you're watching this video, comment below righty folks we're pulling into some little town I don't know what town this is let's see what it says up here Oh, oh Lesty Lesty I'm not sure how you say that Lesty there's a Dollar General you need a Dollar General don't you Mr. Chef Town here, that's cool. Let's see some old advertising. Let's see what it looks like. We haven't eaten today either, so if we find some kind of good road food, we're definitely gonna get something. See some bison on the side here. Look at that old station, isn't that cool looking? Check that out. Eagle Nest Cafe is old Coca Cola sign. And this cafe is closed. A little station here. Pumps don't look like they're very operational. Maybe they are. A caboose. A library. Oh, check out that house. It's a cool old house right there. I like that one. Alright, well, that's Olusty, I guess is how you say it. L-U-S-T-E-E. -E. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's some mountains off in the distance over there. So we are coming into Altus. There's old cotton gin. I'm not sure if I've ever been to Altus, so uh, let's see what it has to offer. Looks like they need a semi-tire. You can get it right there. Lots of jets. There's a Air Force base pretty close by, so you're gonna see a lot of jets in the distance, training missions and all. Restaurante. West Commerce Street. Take the next right onto West Commerce. All right, let's go check out downtown while we're here. This guy has a pretty vibrant downtown. That's good, son. Always a 
good sign. NBC. So there's a courthouse. I guess under demolition right now or reconstruction or something. Being reworked. It's a nice building here to the left. Coming up on Main Street, you can see all the all the uh, trees are budding now, so it's kind of a cool sign. This is a cool downtown. I like the downtown. Very nice downtown. You want to find something to try to eat, Mrs. Shea? There's downtown. Something not a go in type of place for something to grab and go. I see an auction down there. That's always up my alley, my lane way. No oh, definitely no McDonald's. Yeah, kind of a, a cool downtown, huh? Worth coming back and exploring at some point. Yeah, there's the planes above us. So kind of a cool downtown, uh, definitely worth coming back to and exploring at some point in time. There's a water park over there. Yeah, here's the Air Force Base it looks like right here. So you're getting, that's where you're seeing all those jets taking off and on, I think. So it's real close here, I don't remember exactly where it's at. There's your yeah, jet. US Air Force. All right, guys, I gotta stop and uh, erase some stuff from my phone memory. I've took so much video on this trip, I'm running out of space. All right, so we stopped at uh, office donut and fried rice. Look at that. Mm. Combination of fried rice. And over here, we got a Boudin stuffed kolache. Guys, that was awesome. The owners were super cool. Talked to them for a bit. Uh, so if you're in Altus and you want uh, some donuts and fried rice, I know it's a weird combination, but hey, I've had weirder things in my mouth. I'm supposed to do the uh, the drum the drum thing. <laughs> Didn't. Anyway, uh, yeah, come check out uh, Altus. Uh, donuts pretty cool good people and uh we're gonna roll them down the road did they did have a boudin kolache which i'm full from the fried rice just want to see what it looked like to try by it's like pretty good boudin actually yeah oh there's some spicy boudin let's see what it tastes just tore a little bit of piece of that off it's messy as hell Smells delicious. Mmm. It's actually really good boot in. Spicy as hell. Mmm. Woo wee. Hey, that's some spicy ass boot in. I believe that to be homemade because that's. There's no package shit. That's the real deal. Who would have thought at a donut shop in western Oklahoma? Found some badass booty in. That is homemade booty in, folks. That ain't no bullshit. Uh, that ain't no stuff out of a package. Man, the spice level's pretty damn close to 10. That's pretty damn spicy. What do you think? I eat some spicy shit, but that, that's some of the spiciest booty I ever had. I'm about to take my breath away. Well, I want to thank you for joining us today on our trip through western part of Oklahoma. Hope you enjoyed it, and stay tuned here tomorrow for another fantastic travel vlog from Medicine Park. Peace, everybody.